There are many stories from the Korean War of soldiers that deserve to be highlighted, but one in particular goes above and beyond the call of duty. This is the story of Medal of Honor recipient Ronald E. Rosser. During an assault on a heavily fortified hill, Rosser and his company came under fire by a fierce barrage of automatic weapons from two directions. Instead of retreating, Rosser charged forward into enemy fire with only a carbine and a hand grenade. The best way to say it, I took out a lot of people. They, uh, more than you could dream. But that was my job. I don't think I'm a brave man. I, I'm responsible for a lot of people. And uh, the, the day I got the medal, there was 170 of us, and every man was killed, wounded, or missing. And the men were laying on the battlefield, and the Chinese were trying to swarm down and, and kill them and I stood in their way. He single-handedly destroyed the enemy bunker that was raining fire upon his company and took the top of the hill, killing at least 13 enemy troops. He was wounded, but that didn't stop him from making several trips across the open terrain to save men more injured than himself. For his selfless actions that day, he was awarded a Purple Heart as well as the Medal of Honor. I received it from uh, President Truman uh, the 27th of June, 1952. I never was afraid during the, during the fighting, uh, the, uh, but I, I was kind of nervous when the president there was talking to me the, uh, and hung the Medal of Honor on me.